Okay, um, what we're going to do right now is I'm going to just go through a few. Um, I've got a couple things in place already. I've got, if you've watched other videos, then you've seen all this, but I've got the utility rate schedule in place. And I'm going to set it to 120,000 kilowatt hours. And to cut down on things, I'm going to say zero, one or the other. So now I've got 120,000 kilowatt hours that I'll pull from the grid. I'm going to limit that to 800. Limit that to 800, so I can pull per day. Very good. And my phone's gone. Hold on. Okay, so I've gone and done that. Uh, my inverter is already set up. I decided to stick with this, as you've seen before. And what I want to do here is I'm going to show you how to add a battery. So I go ahead and I choose a battery. And in fact, oops, that's generation. I choose a battery. And let's choose two. One battery we're going to make standard. So I choose this battery. Oh, I'm sorry. Let's go and look at this one. This one's already connected. And I can choose any of the lists I have here. I have to be familiar with this one. It's a 7.6 kilowatt hour battery. This is a, a deep cycle um, lead acid fl battery flooded. And you can click here and you get all this neato data. But let's say I want to add a different battery too. Also, this is important for you to know. You have to have, like I've got a lot of a lot of potential number of these batteries. Um, you need to have at least one. And if you have more than one battery and you want them to run, you know, one or the other or both, then you need to have at least a zero. So on the other battery I decide, okay, I'm going to use a I want to create a battery. So I hit new. And I don't want to use a conventional, I'm going to go with a flow battery. And then I would add these things that I thought were important. They're already here, but we're gonna we're just gonna throw a few things in. Maybe make this uh, uh, round trip efficiency is right. Voltage. I think this is gonna be 150, and I'm gonna stick these at five. Let's we'll say 300. And if you know anything about batteries, then you would be looking at this going, aha. Uh -huh. But um, that doesn't matter. What we're looking at is we're gonna say it's a 15 year battery in this case. Um, they can be up to 30, and that's through consistent use. And it's this is a, a zinc bromide battery. And then after I do that, I type in uh, mega battery, mega bat. And um, oh, you must enter an abbreviation MB, and then it lets you go and do it. And you know, these costs aren't exactly right, but let's go ahead and add in one and then two. And we're just showing you how to do something here. Now I've got 12 simulations with 30 sensitivities. And I run it. And of course, you know, you see it's channeling all through here. It's running a little slower than it normally would because I've got uh, two versions of video processing being done in the background. So what you have here is you have a state of charge, which I obviously forgot to modify the state of charge on one of my batteries. And then I've got grid PV. So let's go ahead and say, well, what what does this look like? So I go here and we'll choose 80% for our state of charge. Normally I wouldn't have done that. When you hit set zero, it's nice for same graphs, but don't forget to check that. And then you see here, and it actually chooses this battery is better than this battery, this battery is better than this battery, and it let me go all the way up to 10 batteries because apparently I missed um, the 10 spot. So I thought that was kind of interesting. Um, those boat batteries are like 1300 apiece, they're, they're not very expensive. But it, you can look at 
you know, with or without. And when you put zero on both, um, you aren't going to normally see it where it intermixes. In fact, I don't really remember it ever seeing it intermix. And then, of course, it feels the best justification for each one I use his one. Anyways, that's how you handle batteries, and that's how you make your own battery on top of it. You select. I hope that helps anyone. If I can reduce um, or answer any questions, please let me know. Thanks.